Hey now, YouTube. Joy brings it back again. Callie. Absolutely gorgeous here. Thursday, January 11th. Right about 11 a.m. A little bit under the weather. So staying home from work today. And there isn't a better opportunity than this to make a baseball card video showing off some of my vintage 1953 Bowmans. And again, isn't a better opportunity than this to remind everybody and give everybody an update on the big Joey Brings It giveaway contest where we're gonna be giving away this beauty right here. Trying to keep everybody up to date. We're giving away this 1953 Bowman Color Hall of Famer, Richie Ashburn. Look at that pose. Vintage, vintage, vintage. Philadelphia flannel jersey. Look at that pose looking to the side. Man, Philadelphia legend. PSA graded BGX4. It doesn't get any nicer than this with that grade. And we're giving it away. Hey man, sign up for the contest. It's a lot of fun. You'll have something to look forward to this Saturday. It's coming up, only a couple days left. And like I said, I wanted to give you guys an update. So these are the new entries so far. We got Joe Ryan fan 30. He's in it. Tops 85401. My buddy Nate, he's in. Dustin Abraham is in. The Falsies in. He wants to give everybody a big ups to Iowa. Aaron Davis, the man. Aaron 619 is in. Car Dreamer, Jeremy's in. These are the new entries that I got this week. And of course, we got the confirmed entries from the previous week. Dustin Bellinger, Yankees cards, Cub Fan 7523, Will Suslow, Billy Willie, and the legend, Ray from Philly and Ray Ray. All these guys are in so far. They're gonna be in the big Joy Brings It contest where somebody's gonna walk away with this prize. Look up the uh, video where I have where it says, big huge contest giveaway it tells you guys you know the rules and what to do all you got to do is subscribe leave a comment which one is your favorite joy brings it video and just make a response video you know what are your goals what is your new year's resolution in terms of collecting for 2018 super easy super fun i mean i've been watching all your guys's videos and a reminder of what my new year's resolution was it was to get a lot of my collection PSA graded crossed over PSA DNA get it authenticated get it autograph graded whole bunch of organizing and man trying to add value to my um, collection but most of all I want to be adding these products to my PSA and PSA DNA set registries and what I've noticed is a lot of guys have a similar you know a similar attitude a similar Let's get the collections organized. Let's get them graded. Let's get them, you know, slab protected, increase the value. You know, I just heard that my buddy Aaron, Aaron Davis, is going to get his vintage football collection all crossed over to SGC. So we can't wait to see those videos. And, you know, let's keep it up. Let's keep making videos. And let's keep this community growing. One thing I've been thinking about, you know how everybody's saying, well, the hobby's dying, you know. Everybody who collects baseball cards, especially vintage, they're all old people. They're all in their 60s, 70s. They're all middle-aged men, and they're all dying off. No one's going to take over the hobby. You want to, my opinion, they're dead wrong. The hobby is not dying. It's going to keep growing. And my opinion, one of the key reasons it's going to be growing, and I think it's something that nobody saw, is this YouTube community. If, you know, I've been making videos for about two or three years. If you go back, I remember there was only two or three guys that I followed. There weren't that many guys. Now, every day you discover a new person on YouTube. It's awesome. And I have a feeling that we're just at the tip of the iceberg. This, you know, medium of YouTube, of Instagram, of Facebook, it's going to explode where more and more people are going to be showing their vintage cards, their baseball cards, their modern cards, basketball cards, football cards. You know, I've been watching guys that have autographs of, you know, of pilots, of, 
Game of Thrones, of all kinds of things. So I think this medium is gonna help the hobby grow. It's gonna keep it strong. We're gonna make ties where maybe there weren't ties before. I mean, I guess it, at your local LCS, you could trade with the people in your community, but this is gonna be nationwide. You know, a lot of people are gonna be meeting at the national. I wanna try to make that a goal this year. But let's keep it up, YouTube. This is just the beginning. Mark my words, 2018, it's when joy brings it. When I said that, that this is gonna be the medium that's gonna help keep the hobby alive and keep it growing. All right, on to what we're here for. Enough rambling. Baseball cards, vintage style. So like I said, I'm gonna cross over a bunch of cards this year. And I keep showing my Bowmans because my first submission is gonna be nothing but the 53 Bowman color autographs. So these are the first two that are in that little lot. I got a couple more to show you. Check this out, guys. 1953 Bowman color Dodger legend Carl Ferrillo. Autograph. Beckett, BBG. There's an autograph, it's kind of dark down there at the bottom, but that's the way he is. He signs all his cards like that with the you know ballpoint pen. But man, that card is a toughie. Go try to find that. You can spend 60 days trying to find a 53 Bowman Carl Ferrillo. An original, not the reprint cards, an original signed. Good luck, man. I'll give you 20 bucks if you can find one in 30 days. Impossible. Check this one out. Legend, Hall of Famer, Monty Irvin. One of the sweetest autographs in the industry. Check that out. And I searched high and low until I found a perfect one that's gonna get a PSA DNA Gem Mint 10. That autograph is perfection on a really gorgeous 53 Bowman card. Man, one of my favorite players. I know a lot of you guys uh, show off a lot of uh, Monte Irvin cards. Check that one out. So these two are going to get PSA authenticated with the grade. I'm gonna be sending in this one. Check that out. Red Shandings, Hall of Famer, St. Louis Cardinals. Again, 53 Bowman. Look at that beautiful autograph. I'm hoping that gets a gem in 10. It's gonna be really close. A nine or a 10, maybe a 10 on a good day. But man, a gorgeous, look at that profile. Woo. A gorgeous 53 Bowman card. I can't wait to get that crossover graded and authenticated in that new PSA DNA slab, the red flip with the lighthouse sticker on it. Check this one out. Carl Erskine, Brooklyn Dodgers. Man, look at that old school pitching glove right there. It looks like it's inflatable, 100% vintage. Brooklyn cap, beautiful autograph. Threw no hitter that year, 1952, when this 53 Bowman card came up. He threw no hitter that year. Man, a great pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Gonna get that one crossover graded with PSA. Check this one out. Another very difficult card to find. Roberto Avila, signed Bobby Avila, Cleveland Indians. Again, second baseman, look at that mitt. What a difference between, you know, the new technology, the new gloves, and that one. But these guys were studs back in the day. Roberto Avila, that's gonna get submitted to PSA. That, it's a little bit lighter autograph, but it will come back authentic, maybe graded an eight, but I'll take it. Check this one out. 1953 Bowman, color, Chico Carrasquel, Chicago. Shortstop, look at that signature, crazy. This one is a great signature. It kind of goes off to the side on the card, so it won't get a 10, but hopefully it'll get an eight or a nine. It doesn't matter, man. Try to find one of these on an original Bowman 1953 color card, almost impossible. This guy was an amazing shortstop for the Chicago White Sox. You know, he led the way. Guess who replaced them? A Hall of Famer, Louis Aparicio. Man, crazy. You know, everybody thinks, oh yeah, the Latin players are such good fielders. Now they dominate the game and stuff. It's been going around for a long time, guys. You know, look at these guys. Since 53 and probably before that, 
These guys were studs. They were always known for fielding. They were scouted for that reason. And like I said, imagine having back-to-back -back shortstops Chico Carrascal and then Luis Aparicio next. Man, those White Sox must have been a really good defensive team. Another card I'm going to get over to PSA in my submission with my autographs. Check this one out. Bobby Shantz. Beautiful, bold blue Sharpie autograph. That's going to get a gem in 10. And I love the inscription. 1952 American League M. VP. Boom! That is just awesome. Check that out. I love this Bobby Chance card. You know, there this guy has quite a few of them. You can go and you, you'll find one. There's usually one, you know, every month or so on eBay. You can probably, he signed a lot. But the trick is be patient. Find the one that's going to say, hey, this needs to be in your collection. Look at the centering. Bowman cards are notorious for being off-centered. Um, and not only will you find always the autograph cards that are off-centered, check this out. Like, you know, that Carl Ferrillo is off-centered. I had to get that one. You will never find that card, ever. You know, so sometimes you have to settle. But the reason, back in the day, people didn't collect baseball cards, you know, for investment purposes. In the, let me, let me rephrase that. They didn't collect the autographs for investment purposes. They collected autographs as a hobby. So what they would do is they would take in maybe not the most beautiful card in their collection to get signed. They would just take a you know a double or whatever they had um, in to get signed by the player because they didn't want to give up their gem mint cards to get signed because they thought that uh, autographs would uh, take away the value. Not in today's world. Today's world, you know, vintage autographs are pretty good. Check this out. Another MVP. Al Rosen. My God, I love the photography in this 1953 Bowman color set. Check that out. Al Rosen. He has a beautiful 1953 Tops uh, card. I don't know. If, I, I don't think I've seen one. I have one. I just haven't shown it. I haven't seen any of my other YouTube buddies show it. His 1953 Bowman uh, tops card where he won the MVP, but this is the Bowman version. Check that out. That's a nice signature. Very sharp, very bold. Should get a 9 or a 10, hopefully a 10 on a good day. But man, I just love these Bowman cards. I'm going to send all these in on my first submission to get graded, to get authenticated. that one right there incredible you can wait two or three years until one of those pops up like that amazing look at that monty irvin autograph jim mint all day long red shadings carl erkskine i busted out some more of my collection here couple YouTube youtubers had asked me to show off that Frank Robinson again they didn't get to see it or they had heard but they couldn't find my video there it is 1956 cons rookie Frank Robinson SGC check out that one 1953 to 55 Dorman postcards autograph Carl Ferrillo brought that one out since I was showing the Bowman what stadium is that in the background? Anybody know? I don't think that's Ebbets Field, but man, that screams vintage. Check that out. Here's a card that I'm gonna be sending in the PSA. It's a postcard from the 1960s. Ed Roosh. Look at that beautiful signature. Deceased, 1988. Beautiful signature. I can't wait to get that over. It's gonna be gem in 10. And I found this red shandings. Exhibits, look at that pose, that action shot. Oh, sweet, man. Hall of Famer, all day long. And I found this card, one of my favorites from the exhibit line, Roger Marish. This guy should be in the Hall of Fame, like I said before, just for the season, couple seasons he had. Sometimes the Hall of Fame, it shouldn't always be about longevity or, is that the way you say it? 
you know, your career or how long you played or what your stats were. Sometimes you just go down in history and you should be remembered in the hall. I think this is a prime example. He may not have had his 20 seasons, but his career is so noteworthy that I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. One day, one day. Okay, guys. Long video as always, but you guys know me. That's what I do. You guys got to put up with it. Look at those Bowman 1953 colors. So a lot of cool cards. Some good conversations, some good talking points. What do you guys think about the future of the hobby, especially the vintage? Do you guys think this medium, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, is that gonna keep the hobby alive? Let me know down below. And check this out, guys. Sign up for the Joey Brings It contest. Gonna win this puppy right here. Gorgeous. 1953 Bowman, Richie Ashburn. It's free. Just make a response video. Title it appropriately. And let's get going, man. You might win this without even trying. Love it, guys. All right, man. Was able to make a long video. Day off from work today. I might even make another one to post later. I have another stack of about 10 Bowman autographs.